they began expanding abroad and essentially went on one of the biggest shopping sprees in history. They've invested heavily in companies like Reddit, Tesla, Discord, Spotify, Snapchat, and Universal Music. And those are just a couple of the many hundreds of companies outside of China that Tencent are now involved with. Now I'm going to show you how I broke this clip down. So first, we have just a black background note here, nothing else. Then I have a blue background note with a ellipse mask, like this. And the soft edge is bumped up very high. And when we merge it, the background looks like this. So this is all about the world map. We have this world map, which is black. Then here we have this ink overlay clip, which spreads originally from left to right, and it's black. Then we have a color generator with red values to bump to the max, so the ink is red. Nothing too special. Then we merge it, and it only covers the world map, because the operator is set to a top. Otherwise, if it's uh, over, it just covers the whole screen. So when it's a top, it covers only the area of the world map, because the world map is set as a background to the merge node and also we flipped it i forgot to mention but i've also added a color generator to the world map with the exact same settings then there's the lens distort node and i've decreased the distortion just a little then we have the transform node i've just moved it to the top we're gonna skip this for now let's go over to the logo so just a 10 cent logo with a transform node and i've scaled it down and positioned it better we have a gradient which is a gray background you cannot see it now, but it's a grey background, with a ellipse mask like this, with a high soft edge. And then again from the merge node, operator is set to a top, because we want to apply this only on top of the logo. Then merge node and a rectangle mask, which we've animated from down to up like this, and it animates the logo. And I've increased the soft edge, so it's not so sharp. Then there is the graph, which is this thing behind the logo. So this has two parts. There is the gray line and the blue line. First, we have a background here. That's because when we have a paint node, we need a like canvas where we apply it. It doesn't work if we just merge the paint node. We can put the paint nodes to part of the main pipeline. But then if we apply the glow node, it's gonna affect the whole image. So we want to merge them. So we need a canvas. So just a background note and the alpha is set to zero. This is the paint note. I've renamed it and this is too. So when you have a paint note, you want to come up, he uh, up here and select this icon. So now just uh, draw the graph, then go to the stroke controls. And here is the right one. With this, we can animate it. At the start keyframe, bring the end to the start. And then at second keyframe, bring it back to where it was. So now it animates from start to end. If you ever face this problem, so you can see the control stub, you have to select the path. As you can see down here, I've keyframed the right one. And I've decreased the size and the color is this gray. Then I've copy pasted this to here and changed that color to blue. And as you can see, the second line starts to animate about here. And it doesn't animate all the way to the end. It stops here. So I haven't brought the end all the way back. Then I've applied a glow node. Then there's the text which says biggest shopping sprees in history. And I've created a separate text node to every word and I've applied a glow node and the last words in and history. They are extra bold and the other words are regular. I show you the whole animation now. So it starts slow, then it goes very fast, and then it stops uh, slowly. From the merge node, I've animated the blend to go from 0 to 1, and the I value, if I set the blend to 1 now, it rises like here, and so the other words. The shopping, it comes faster, and the word spree just actually spawns there, but the word history, it comes slowly again. You just keyframe the blend and the I position. Then into the fun stuff, which is these cards. I've just made one and then copy pasted it. So let's dive into this. First, I have only the Reddit logo. And then I've connected a ellipse mask, which I've animated like this. And the width and height are at zero, and then the circle becomes bigger. That's the animation for the logo. Then there is the transform node, and with the transform node, I've just positioned the image there. Then we have just a white background. I'm gonna disconnect this one for now. Then I have a rectangle mask. Just a rectangle mask. It starts like this. I've keyframed the center and the width parameters, and then it kind of slides to the left. Hey. 
also you may have noticed that I've increased the corner radius from the rectangle mask. Then I have this ellipse mask connected to the merge node, which is around the logo, so there is this cap and it slides from behind it, as you can see. So actually very simple. Then this is more complicated, so this is the arrow. First it moves to the top and then down. I've renamed this to arrow, but this is actually a white background. Then a polygon mask, which I've shaped like so. This transform node is only for this movement. I've only animated the angle as you can see. I've set the pivot to the middle of the logo because the arrow rotates around the logo. As you can see it rotates around. I'm gonna disable this for now. So here are the keyframes. It starts from down, it goes to the up, it stays there for a while, then it moves down a little bit. This is a transform node for the size. I've animated the pivot so the pivot moves with the arrow. Frame by frame I've changed the position of the pivot and keyframed it so it follows the arrow. And then I have keyframed the size from 0 to 1. Then there is the text. It is the title and the description. So the title says Reddit and I've animated it with the rectangle mask so the logo appears like this. Then the description. I've animated it with the mask so you can see it from the video how it is animated something like this and then I've just copy pasted this five times and changed the keyframes because the cards doesn't appear at the same time. They doesn't animate at the same time. When I've copy pasted this one here, I've highlighted these nodes and went to the keyframes tab. Then I ticked all these arrows down, selected these keyframes and dragged my mouse down so every keyframe is selected for sure. And then just moved them to the right so it animates later. I've just watched from the video when the animation starts and moved them. And and also, of course, I've changed the logo. So here I've just replaced the Reddit logo with the Tesla logo, the title with Tesla and the description. Then we have all the six cards with their own little detail. And then we have the text that appears down here. So a text node which is 100 plus, a Gaussian blur which I've animated from 0 0.4 to 0. Then I've merged a gradient. So it's a black background node with a rectangle mask. The rectangle mask is here, so I can move it and the gradient changes. And the soft edge is bumped up. And from the merge node, I've decreased the blend, because this is a little too harsh. And of course, operator is set to a top, because otherwise it just, it's just there. Then the other text node, uh, which is Tencent, is now involved with. And this I've also animated with the rectangle mask, which animates from left to right, so the text becomes visible. And the soft edge is set to about 0.01. And then lastly animated everything in 3D space. So I have image plane 3D in the left viewer and the final image in the right one. So it doesn't look like it's touching the screen but it actually is. If we push it little further it goes through it. And at frame 400 the whole world map is visible at the screen. And then the camera moves down a little so the cards can be seen. Uh, from about here it starts moving to the down and closer to the screen so this text becomes visible. And from the spline the curve looks like this. This is the starting animation. This is the animation when it goes down just a little. And this is the final animation. That's actually it. I hope this was helpful. If so, check this video to learn how to edit the McDonald's intro from MyNetsMedia. See you there.